Double jump. Double jump. Double jump. Bash. So we can leap off these things. Wow. There are some interesting movement abilities in this game. God damn. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Run for your life. Oh. Well, thank you for letting me know. This is, okay, this is a great set piece. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Oh. Look at that. With the Ginzo tree restored, Nibel's waters are clear. Oh, I don't take damage from the water anymore. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This game is a ton of fun. Um, it was a ton of fun last time, especially that final escape sequence. That was absolutely amazing. One thing I did want to note, I started it on the main menu screen instead of starting it in game because when I was about to boot up the game before I went live, I spotted this. I asked a question last stream. How many of these health upgrades am I going to get? I have my answer. I've got a third of them and I've got almost half of the energy upgrades already. This game, I think, is quite a bit shorter than I was expecting. Let's jump into it. We have a ton of new ways to explore because we can swim in this water now without it hurting us. I assume we still have a breath meter. Yes, because there is an upgrade that removes the breath meter. We also have double jump and air dash and we also have bash. So we have a whole shitload of new ways of navigating the environment, a bunch of new ways of getting past certain barriers and yeah, we're going to do a lot of backtracking. Now, unfortunately, am I locked out of this? At some point there must have been enemies here. No enemies around to smash this now. So that is a shame. Oh, look at this. Good. We've got little like places to surface and regain oxygen. Can I like swim fast? Oh my God. Yeah, no, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Okay. So I can swim fast. Okay. Now we're getting to the serious platforming, aren't we? Jesus. Okay. Hey, look at that. And oh, the water flows in. Okay, this is sick. This is sick. I'm loving this. I thought the water would fill up the whole place. How did that help me? I have no idea. Hmm, maybe, maybe it, it'll help me in some other way when I get up to that upper section. Oh, hello. Chill, bro. Chill. Okay, I think I need to get him to land on this, right? Come on. Come on, buddy. I wonder what I can do with bashing on these guys. Can I, like, bash him to make him go down? Or do I just need to make him hurtle over the edge? Hello? Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay, hang on. Can I... Like, bash him to knock him in a certain direction? Not really. Come on, come on, come on, laddie. Oh, it looks like he won't come this close. Shit, killed me. Motherfucker. Oh, god damn it, and I need to do all that again. I forgot to save. I should have saved after I came back. Okay, let's do that again. One moment. Woo, baby. This is fun. Okay, this is, this is, I can already tell this is going to be an absolute fucking delight. The, sh the game is short but amazing. Yeah, I mean, seems it so far. I wonder what the deal is up there. Presumably, getting rid of the water is good in some way, though I'm not entirely clear on how it is. I did not expect there to be this kind of level of exploration in this game. I don't really know what I expected with this game, but it wasn't what it's turned out to be. What it's turned out to be is really quite awesome. Come on. Can I? Yeah, seriously, can I, like, bash these guys in some way to, like, push him? No. Looks like they're unbashable. Charge me. No, he seems unwilling to charge me. Okay, so I wonder, how do I get through here then? We're going to leave that for now, because I cannot figure out what I'm supposed to do. Oh, hang on. Also, sorry, this is a map thing. There we go. Nice. I just got an achievement called Halfway There. Have I got half the fucking maps? Game is definitely shorter than I expected. That is beautiful. Okay, look at those fucking underwater caverns. How far through those do you reckon I can actually get without having the infinite underwater breath thing? There's two keystones there, which presumably are the two I need to get through this door. So I, I would guess I can probably get through it. There's probably enough little gaps with air in them to let me survive that. What else? Hang on, what is this? Find the Goomon seal hidden inside Misty Woods. I thought my next objective was to go to the... Whoops. Ah! Fuck. I thought my next objective was to go to the Forlorn Ruins. I guess not. What's the Goomon seal for? I don't remember that from last time. Let's try exploring down here. See how far we can get in terms of grabbing those keystones. Nice. Yeah, okay. It's easy enough to navigate. Everything looks really huge on that map when it's actually, like, reasonably sized. There's the other keystone. Phenomenal. Hang on. How do I get to there? Is there some kind of fucking teleportation ability you get at some point in this game? Or is there some way to swim up from underneath? There might be a way to swim up. No, 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 the water doesn't go up that high. Maybe this is like a destructible ceiling? Nope. Oh, that's the map fragment. Okay, cool. It's fine. But that means that, hang on, that presumably the map fragment for the map that I just placed, which means there must be a map like rock that I've missed elsewhere. Oh, hang on. 
There we go. Figured it out. Okay. Get the air. Get the air. Get the air. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I don't know what happens when that bar runs out and I don't want to know. Hopefully, I just start taking damage. It's possible I instantly die. Oh my god, I'm missing so much health. What the fuck? I didn't realize I was that low on health. Okay, let's um heal and set up a save point just in case I accidentally clip a thorn. Yep, like that. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Just don't get hit and we'll be fine. There we go. Real. I don't need to go on those uh, wooden platforms. I can just swim under. Is there anything worth finding down here? Yeah, of course there is. Yep. Not anything I can do about that, though, apparently. How do I get through that barrier? That's interesting. Okay. Excuse me, laddie. I want to see what's over here. I have no idea what's over there. I assume there's a button to open that, but we'll see. <sighs> see? I think- I still think these are levers of some kind, but I have no idea how to activate them. Um, okay. So, hang on. I think I need to get this thing to spit at me and then fire the projectile upwards. Hello? You coming out, or what? What's happening? Where the fuck did that little- God damn it. Ooh! Hey! We have a new tree! Holy shit! I wasn't expecting to find that. Elo was the stoutest of all the spirits. The most powerful ever seen. Now here he rests, turned into an ancestral tree. Down bash, maybe? I mean, I could try. Never mind! There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the answer. I have a ground pound. Jesus Christ, suddenly I have so many more capabilities. Wow, there's the ground pound. It, what am I, like 14 minutes in? Jesus Christ. I don't know how I get that one, but there we go. Oh, beautiful. They absolutely are levers. Oh my God. So many new ways of interacting with the environment that I've gotten in the last like five fucking minutes. Okay, hang on a minute. I want to get to that. There we go. Can I interact with that at all? I thought I could interact with these. Can I not? Hmm. Okay, let's go down. How do I... Oh, can you smash this? No, didn't think so. Whoops. Okay, good. It respawns me here. Fucking hell. So what do I do here? This is interesting. Do I... Oh! Oh my god, I can kill them with stomps! What the fuck? Holy shit! Okay. Damn! That felt really mean. But hey, we killed it. Let's take a look at the map. So, it looks like we've unlocked everything in the area apart from whatever the fuck is up there, which I still have no idea how to get to. That water, I guess I couldn't get to that either. I still haven't got anything which would allow me to get to this. Oh, I, I forgot I could kill things. For some reason in my head, I just could, I just have no, no defensive recourse under the water. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. But we can now head out and head elsewhere. Yep. Thank you for that. Perfection. I forgot I can kill things, ponder a quote of the day. Hey, well, you know, in my head, if you're underwater, you have no defense. Because that's true in a lot of games. You can't fight. Oh yeah, so I need. I, now I understand why I needed to drain the water. Because presumably, I can't ground pound when that place is full of water. Screw you. <laughs> Ooh, actually. Could I have used the projectiles to move upwards somehow? I need to stop just randomly killing enemies because enemies, now that Bash exists, Enemies are like a really important way of moving around the environment. I guess that's why enemies respawn so freely. I want to deal with the enemies so I don't have to be dodging attacks constantly. But also I want to leave the enemies alive just in case I need them. Now let's just comb back over a bunch of this stuff. Because like, yeah, we have so many new abilities now. I'm pretty sure I can see what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Give me that sweet, sweet ability points. Oh my god, we're getting so close to whatever the next one is. See, this is why you go for the mobility enhancements, man. So I can get shit. It's the same reason I go for fucking lockpicking really early in any game which has lockpicking. Because I just want to be able to get all the things. I don't want to see a glorious treasure chest right in front of me and not be able to open that shit. Yeah, I got an energy cell from there, I remember that. Couldn't get down here last time, though. Phenomenal. Got another ability point. Oh, shit. Okay, let's deal with this chatty first. Now, yeah, I actually could have got that one. I, I, I noticed that on the VOD. I could have got that one prior to learning Stomp, because that guy can smash the floor. I just didn't think of that at the time. So I have Air Dash. I have Ultra Soul Link. What's the next one? Charge Dash. And then the next one is Water Breathe. Nice. Okay, so what is this? Oh, it uses energy, I guess. Does it? Sure, so I have to hold left trigger and then press right bumper. Okay, gotcha. And it does use an energy cell from the looks of things. Ooh, energy door. An energy door I am capable of opening. Excellent. Oh, more, more energy doors. Several. Fuck yeah, let's go. I realize I have no energy now and we'll need to get a shitload more. Oh, that was like a whole point. Holy fuck. I do need more energy to get through this door though. So now we need to just go find some energy. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I just got an achievement for that. Oh, that was beautiful. I was completely unintentional, but hey, it's his own fault for standing underneath the stompy, all right? 
I take no responsibility. I need to make sure not to be saving, because I need to I need to be gathering energy. Uh, well, I'm gonna be taking fucking damage on. Oh no, hang on, hang on. Can I get all my stuff back at the save point? Because I think this gives me my energy. Yes, it does. It restores all my fucking energy. Beautiful. Let's go do the other door now. While I remember it that it exists. Got him again. Sorry, lad. That was completely unintentional. You just happen to be in the fucking way. Oh, there is so much to discover here. What's this? This feels like I'm heading into a different environment. Oh my god, this is the start of the fucking game. Damn. Kind of come full circle here. However, there is a bunch of ability points up there. How the fuck do I get up there? Even with triple jump, I think I'd struggle. Is there anywhere in here that's notable that I haven't been? Well, there's certainly an ability point down there. So let's go see if we can grab those. Dude! Stop! I can't be blamed for that. That was- this thing wants to die. Jesus. Okay, so I don't think there's anything special down there. Doesn't look like there's anything special around here. Bear in mind, the fancy things like life cells and such are not currently visible on the map. Oh, hang on. No, what am I doing? There was that little passageway I was going down, wasn't there? This way, yeah. I need to go this way. Whoop. Hello. And I was gonna say, the spider indicates to me that there must be something I need to bash up to. And I am indeed correct, and it is a life cell. Phenomenal. Okay, we got another one, we got another one. We're doing good. Let's particularly target these areas that I couldn't get to before. So anywhere with ability points marked on the map, because obviously, I mean, I could have got that one last time. I could have just tanked the damage. Ooh, hang on, okay. Spit at me, spit at me. Good boy. I another life cell, holy shit. I'm fucking rolling in it, guys. There can't be that many of these in the game. Like, it showed me. What was that? There was 12 total, and I've gotten six of them already. There's nothing else of note that I wasn't able to get down here. Where? Wasn't there another ability cell I, I'd failed to get? Oh, there. What is there? Oh, that's Blackroot Burrows. That's a way around to Blackroot Burrows. Holy shit. Okay, let's go that way. You're becoming very OP very quickly. I would be inclined to agree, yeah. It says 94% Moon Grotto. What am I missing in the Moon Grotto? Ooh, there's several ability scores further up. We can potentially open up this route to Blackroot Burrows in the meantime. Or we can, actually, let's head, see if we can head through to Blackroot Burrows and then teleport up to there. I think that makes more sense. I guess I have to try and angle myself when I'm falling, right? To see if that gets me to the Blackroot Burrows entrance. There we go. Beautiful. Holy shit, that's a lot. I guess that's the only way to get here, right? Is you have to come back down and, and redo the fall. How do I open this? Oh, there's a stompy right there. I have to open it from the Blackroot Burrow side from the looks of things. Okay, yeah, so we'll go up and see if we can access those ability points. Ooh, and the other thing we need to do is obtain the ability to breathe in water. As much as it goes against my core principles of all offense, no defense, just for the sake of completing the tree, I may end up picking up ultra defense. What do you think will be the next game? I think Will-O-Wisp is continuation of Ori, but no idea what could be after that. Yeah, certainly I'll be doing Will-O-Wisp after this. I haven't really, I don't know what to do with the next game after that. I'll have to have a think about it because this game is turning out to be a little shorter than I expected. Can I get up here? I can. Ooh, should I? D fuck, fuck. Well, that was terrible. And I just lost all my fucking health. Where is this? Oh, this is Hollow Grove. This is what we want to do. We want to keep finding areas where we can, like, loop back around to places we've already been. Oh, now we're in Thornfelt Swamp. Moon Grotto is 99%. I assume the 1% for Moon Grotto is that ability point, right? Should get some fucking health back. And now we can swim under, grab this. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, we don't even need to worry about air anymore. And there's a ton of stuff here as well, apparently. Shit. More ability points. More ability points. I'll take them all. Take every fucking one of them. Jesus Christ. I can't get through this, though. Do I get, like, an upwards ground pound? I must, right? I feel like that's the only logical explanation for those barriers. Screw you guys. You're annoying me. You were helpful before, but now you're just irritating. Whoop. Up and over. Bye. Ooh. I know how to get to that. Okay. I apologize. You're not irritating. You're actually very, very helpful. Thank you. Half the cost of Soul Link. That's useful, I guess. I have so much energy at this point, though, I don't think it's really that relevant. Ooh, okay. We have an actual barrier, which presumably I can activate with a lever? Okay, I still think there's something to do with these little fuckers, right? Because those look like the things I used when I had the light orb with me. Yeah, I swear to God, it, these are like switches or something. I just don't know how to activate them. And yeah, there's this upper section over here. Can I not get to the upper section over there? Oh, shit. Guys fucking respawned. Screw you guys. Up yours. Bye, please. Thank you. Whoa. Hmm. Do I need triple jump? I don't... Th oh, maybe I do. Oh, no. What the fuck am I doing? I need to bash off the enemy. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take for that guy to respawn. Because I fucked up when I killed him when I shouldn't have killed him. Sometimes the enemies need to exist for you to be able to proceed. So I kill them, and then I realize, oh shit, I shouldn't have killed them. Oh, nope. Fuck off. There we go. 
Thank you. Beautiful. Okay, I'm glad I went up there. Apparently there's an area way over here. Which I guess is that. Apparently I've been up here. How did I get up there? What the fuck? Yeah, even with like triple jump or something, I think I'd struggle. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue just making my way through Hollow Grove. Oh. Uh? Oh. Okay. Not expecting that. Well, that was fucking spooky. I don't think it's worth me exploring Mount Haru yet. We're gonna leave that for now. And we're gonna head down and explore some of these unexplored sections. Ooh, life cell. How do I get there? Can I get, is there, is this like a, a fake wall or something? Oh, nope, that didn't seem to do anything. Okay, cool. Clearly somewhere must be a secret thing. Oh, hang on. Okay, so I, I might need triple jump. Alternatively, it could just be a really tricky bash section. Did I get it? Yes! Fuck yeah! Okay, I'm really proud of that. You have to bash off a projectile, then bash off it in such a way that you're in the correct direction that its next projectile will allow you to bash to get all the way up. That was sick. Okay, that was great. It's also possible that you're supposed to drop into it, but fuck it. I like the way I solved it. Now there's a whole huge underwater stretch over there. I think I want to check out this stuff to the left first. Up and to the left. Ooh, hang on, this is a lever. What does this activate? Oh, there's a barrier down there. Okay, cool. There's another way up over here. Yeah, I think we have to do something similar. Do I need to keep both of them alive for this? Maybe? Because I can't stay in the air long enough there. Or maybe, maybe I need to bash off it and then it's projectile, same as before. Oh, that didn't work. God damn it. Nope. Shit, I keep killing the fucking spider. I wish I didn't kill the things I love. Oh, there's some, there's some tricky stuff in here. I don't know if it's because I don't have the capabilities that, uh, that's like required for it or what. There we go. Okay, yeah. Keeping the two of them alive was the right way to go. Perfection. And... Can I smash this? That looks breakable, but I don't have the ability to break it. I guess it's like a sideways ground pound? Yeah, so that's that's something we simply can't access. We can check the underwater stretch now. We can breathe infinitely underwater now, so might as well just take our fucking time. I really am going to be fucking overpowered for the rest of this game, aren't I? Never gonna die. Hang on. I don't I want to keep this guy alive just in case there's a reason to keep him alive. Thank you for the life cell. It's, it, nope. No reason to keep him alive. Can you smash this for me? I can't be bothered. I cannot be fucked to smash that myself. Oh, hey! Okay, that's the, the roof one that I couldn't smash before. We can head back um and check out the energy door. And what do we get? We just get some we just get an ability point. This is fine. I say just. That gives us enough, ladies and gentlemen, for the triple jump. Thank you very much. Now, I don't know if I'm going to start investing in this strength and radius of light burst. Is that the thing that I get when I, whenever I gain an ability point? I don't know what light burst is. It doesn't have it as a base requirement, which means it must be an ability I start the game with. We might invest in that at some point, but honestly, we're probably going to do this first. Life and energy cells are way up at the top, and I would like to be able to see those on the map. I have so much fucking health, by the way. Jesus Christ. When I started the game, I had, like, I think I, I'd found, it said, like, four out of 12 total life cells, and you start the game with three health, right? So there must be 15 total? So I'm only missing three life cells in the entire game right now, I think. Okay, we're not going to Valley of the Wind yet. We're still exploring. Sunken Gladays. Yeah, there's this whole section in Sunken Gladays where I haven't been. We can go do that. Beautiful. Another point. I am accumulating these ability points at a truly ludicrous rate, and I love it. I'm just filling out every fucking tree. All the trees. Every single tree you could possibly imagine is being filled out right now by me. Perfect. Okay, and now we're in the upper section. Yeah, it, I... Those things are definitely levers. I'm, I'm convinced those things are levers. Those little, like, orb things. The ones which I used, because I swear I used the fucking light ball that I had in Blackroot Burrows to activate them. And I just, I think I just don't have the ability to activate them right now. Charge Flame doesn't do it. And I don't know, do I have to bash on them? No, it seems like it doesn't let me bash on them. So yeah, we uh, we have to leave those for now. And a ground poundy over here. Fuck you. Oh, he hit the laser. So did I. I know how to stop a laser beam. Okay, there we go. Fuck off. Nope, stay away, stay away, stay away, you little shit. Unless I need to keep this one alive, but I don't know. 
If I need to keep it alive, then whoops, I guess. Imagine if the floor dipped down just low enough that the laser beam could get over the rock. That would be a dick move. There we go, that is another energy cell. We're doing pretty well. Yes. Fucking predicted it. When I saw that area last time when I was when I was playing before, because I've edited this section now, when I was playing before, I looked at that bit and I was like, ah, oh, I'm pretty sure that root's in the foreground. I think I can get behind it. Absolutely right. What do I want to spend this shit on? I don't care about damage. I've got so much fucking health. Let's start working on these, I think. Don't the ability cells already show up on the map? Am I missing something? Isn't that what these are? Hmm. Oh, what the fuck? It tells me all my... Oh, it tells me all the skills. Ooh, I don't think I want to look at those. That's spoilers. Okay, I'm going to guess what they are without looking at them. So, I clearly it's like a floaty leaf thing. Is that like a wall punch? Some kind of super jump, maybe. And I don't know what the fuck that last one is. Does it let me throw ability stuff at people? Weird. Oh, and look! It tells me... Oh my god, okay. It tells me other things. So I'm missing... Yeah, I'm missing three life cells. I'm missing seven energy cells. I'm missing 21 ability cells. Had two major world events. I guess the first one was me finding Sane. The second one was the escape from the Z Ginzo tree, right? Oh no! No, that's probably the light. That's probably... Uh, this must be things which changed the world. That's That was me lighting up Blackroot Burrows. And then the second one was me purifying the waters. And there's... Four more major events which will change the world. That's interesting. And have I, is that, I've, have I died 80 times? I assume that's what that means. That's a lot of deaths. And now we could go up and go left, but we're not going to do that because that's the way I'm supposed to go. I'm going to go down and see if I can get that ability cell and then we're going to head to the right. Um, yeah, so how the fuck do we get up there? Okay, that's going to be the super jump, right? I'm pretty sure, again, I'm pretty sure we have some kind of fucking super jump ability. It looks like there is a super jump there because I don't think there's any enemies I can lure over to bash. Are oh, there? No, none. Okay, fine. Oh, hey, okay, in which case, and yeah, we're heading into Blackroot Burrows now. So yeah, let's um, let's see if we can explore our Blackroot Burrows, because there is a lot, a lot of Blackroot Burrows that we have not fully explored, which is kind of cool. Look how much there is down here. And there's at least one more ability. And we're going to explore that in the next YouTube video. I think I'm going to end the video there. I've been live for like over an hour. We got a lot of shit, a lot of ability cells, a lot of life cells, and uh, only one energy cell, actually, so not that many energy cells. We've got a lot of fucking everything else. Next time, we're going to fully explore Blackroot Burrows, continuing to put off the critical path until the video after that. So if you want to see the critical path, then eh, too bad. This is how I play games. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a like, give it a comment, give it a subscribe, do all the things to make the algorithm like my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.